Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, March 16th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Insworth for Longmont Public Media. I am on spring break right now in a hotel, and so I'm going to do an abbreviated uh, forecast here and do it a little differently. I'm going to take you just through tabs on my browser. So here we are with the 10 day forecast and we have two pretty significant storms. We have one Wednesday, Thursday and one out here Sunday and Monday. And these are both looking at this point very juicy. So let's take a look at the Wednesday is about 1.2 inches of rain or snow showers. I guess they got rain marked there, but uh, it's going to change over to snow. And then uh, one and a half inches or so, or, or so, I can't talk, of snow <laughs> uh, on Thursday. The timing is uh, showers are already approaching uh, the Broomfield, Longmont area, and they really should start picking up around 5, 6 p.m., continuing through the night, changing over to snow around 9 or 10 p.m. Sometimes it happens earlier than models predict. The cold air kind of slips in faster. And then chances really start dropping off around noon in this part of the front range. We rapidly warm up to the 50s and 60s for the remainder of uh, my spring break. <clears throat> Next Monday, when getting back to work, there's another storm on the horizon. Um, there is a winter storm warning in effect for much of the Front Range and nearby communities. I'll just go ahead and read the highlights here. Um, heavy snow, cum total accumulations 5 to 10 inches with up to 15 inches in the foothills. Yesterday, the winter storm uh, watch only extended from Berthoud down west of I-25. There wasn't much out on the plains, and you'll see the model. It's, it's still questionable how much will happen to the east. But this, they're highlighting the southern range foothills, Boulder, and the western suburbs of Denver and Castle Rock. I'm actually in Colorado Springs, so I've got to make it through Castle Rock tomorrow to get home. This will be fun. Uh, Snow-covered roads will be uh, have tra tra hazardous travel. Travel will be especially difficult from late this evening through Thursday morning rush. All right, taking a look at the system, we're going to tap our way through. Here it comes in pretty heavy along the Palmer Divide and west of Denver above Boulder uh, and then snow out on the plains this is early Thursday morning lighter snow noon Thursday and then it starts to break up and even some rain seems to come back in because temperatures are very marginal so it'll be a heavy wet snow along I-25 the weather Forecasters at Weather 5280 have their hand drawn map here. They're sticking with a trace to three inches um, coming up through Loveland, Greeley, and like that. Here's Boulder and Longmont right over here, and then two to six inch area. I think I went for one to three, one to four myself, though, so I'm undercutting them too. But really quickly it goes three seven. And then Castle Rock and Parker, 5 to 11, 8 to 14 in the mountains here. So, yeah, it's a very strong gradient from very little snow to a pretty good dump. Looking at temperatures, I said temperatures are pretty marginal, and they are. If I go through the next day, it just gets a little below normal, and then the warm temperatures come right back. Taking a look at precipitation in total, this is just melt and rain and snow. I'm going to tab up my way through this one. And see it picks up really quickly. There's a quarter of inch uh, in Fort Collins, but around Boulder it reaches one inch. The GFS often overdoes liquid, um, but moving forward, like an inch and a half by um, the night, night of the 17th. And then the storm is over with an inch and a half of water there, inch and a quarter south of Denver. And then if I go way out to pick up the Sunday Monday storm, it goes nuts. So on top of that, <coughs> that storm dumps from Colorado Springs to Denver four inches with the two storms combined and three and a half, three inches just above Boulder. So and it looks very similar pattern. That's really interesting. So let's see what the snow will look like with this. Inch that down a little and start our motion. You can see very quickly uh, where pinks there are six to eight. 
and then it continues to build. If you notice, right along I-25, Fort Collins down to about, is it Decono and Frederick? No snow. Um, that's because it's precipitation, quarter inch of rain. And as I go through this entire storm, the GFS keeps it almost snow free along the, the north of Denver corridor, but just a couple miles in and you're up to four, five, then eight, and then 12 inches of snow. So really, really sharp gradient there. And now let's take it out to the next storm next weekend on Monday, and it goes crazy. We got 40 inches and more than 40 inches between uh, Colorado Springs and Denver and up into the mountains above Boulder and up towards Red Feather Lake, Cestus, and like that. So very um, altitude-based because you can see the plains get almost nothing. We're still almost completely snow-free on that storm as well. We're making the transition into spring, so that's what we can expect. So drive safely. Uh, keep your eyes on the road as you go, and uh, I'll be back with a more normal forecast next week. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.